Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It is vloggy number 67. What? Yeah, this is the 67th week that I've done this. Time flies when you're having fun. Absolutely. The vloggy thing, by the way, welcome in. If you are brand new here, welcome. I'll try not to bite too much. Chomp, chomp. Uh, if, if you've been here before, you know what the craziness is like. And I appreciate you coming back time and time again. Now, the Saturday vloggy thing is where I kind of catch up with what's been going on for the week. Maybe tell you what's coming up in the next week, especially when I got good stuff coming up. Oh, like I do this week. Mm-hmm. Go over my whips and or foes of crochet stuff. And just talk about whatever in general. Because I can. <laughs> I am off work today. I am off work for 10 days in a row. Yes! It's awesome. It really is. Um, I take a vacation week around my birthday every year. Oh yes, birthday. The birthday is coming up on Wednesday. Let me go ahead and tell you what's coming up on Wednesday. Wednesday there will be a live. It'll start at 9 a.m. Eastern time okay uh, I think that's two o'clock in the afternoon in England and everybody else y'all can figure it out from Eastern okay you got this um, be sure and come in there will be giveaways uh, and even if you can't watch it live there will also be a giveaway for the replay yes there will because I that's that's just me I just want to give uh, my birthday because I'm getting on my birthday already. Are you kidding me? I have stuff that I'm not allowed to open yet. I have this package. Uh, see, it's a package. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. But, I'm, ah, you know how hard it is for me not to open something? I also have uh, this package. I know who this one is from. I don't know who that one is from. Which is really kind of weird. Uh, but I know who this one is from. This is from Miss Lisa Ladybird. And she said, do not open that before your birthday. And I'm like, okay, I'll be doing it on the live then. And I've been informed that there's another package that I don't know who it's from that'll be arriving here Monday um, for the birthday. So I got presents, y'all. <laughs> I get excited because I don't do a lot of like celebrating of holidays, like, you know, the presents and stuff. Hubby and I have just never really been into gift giving. I actually know he's gotten me something though. And I think I remember what it is, but I don't quite remember. He said he's going to wait and give it to me for my birthday. Okay, whatever. It's all good. So, my birthday this year. I'm not one of those who claims 29 forever. Pfft, no. Met my husband when I was 29. Yeah, I'll be 52 this year. And, uh, wow. Wow. See, my 50th was kind of marred. I wanted my 50th to be like a big old thing, but, you know, we had a plague on the planet. So that put a stop to that. Anywho, <laughs> not sure what I'm doing all week long. Um, I know that I'm going to go out to eat some. Um, I know it's going to be hot AF, which I kind of hate because my car has no AC right now. So, yeah, wherever I go, my hair is going to be up and it's going to be wind blowing. Yeah, it, it ain't going to be nice. But today, my hair is down, all gray and stuff. Because, oh, yes, she's going gray. But that's okay. <laughs> I will get my hair. I will color my hair eventually. I'll probably do it myself. I watch a lot of Brad Mondo and the people really go all in on their hair color. I don't have the energy to hold my arms up for that long to do that. No. So, I don't know what else. I did have some hauls this past week. Mm -hmm. I got a one of those Mary Maxim mystery bags. Wowzers. You definitely need to check out that video. A lot of great stuff in there. I know that I have another mystery bag coming up soon, whenever the post delivers it, because I have ordered one of Lisa Ladybird Love's mystery boxes. Not mystery bag, mystery box. Whatever. Okay, so we'll open that here on uh, the channel live not live, but probably a video Let everybody see what I got and what fun it is because it's gonna be lots of fun stuff She still has some mystery boxes left by the way check her out ladybird loves she'll be linked down below Okay, you got this go check it out it's gonna be awesome 
Now, what else has been going on this week? I know there's more. Oh, the new job is exhausting. I mean, yes, it's it's what I've been doing, but it's like another layer of that and having to keep up with other people. It's like herding kittens. I don't have the actual managerial duties. I can't do the like HR stuff, but it's like, oh yeah, uh, figure out who's gonna be on the phones for these times because we have to cover phones for cues and everything. And then yesterday there were like three people out when it's a team of 11, take three people out of it. Cover their phone times. When everybody has three hours of phone time a day. Yeah, that was fun. Got it done. Actually had a good phone day, but the other stuff got neglected. But whatever, whatever. My boss, well, the, the supervisor that I support, who's technically not my boss anymore, we both have the same supervisor, uh, she was out yesterday and yeah, so it was a busy day, but I got to realize I don't work Saturday. Woo woo. Cause that's like the whole time off. Did not set an alarm. I'd be walking up around nine anyway. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. I normally get up at six in the morning and I was asleep till nine. I would, I probably would have slept till about 11, but Hey, these bags aren't going to heal themselves, okay? They need sleep. <laughs> All right, to the crochet. You know, if you saw the thumbnail, which I'm imagining you did, I showed you this. This is like my second bag full of just stuff that I've cut off when I weave in ends and stuff. Do y'all keep yours? I have two bags like this now, and I smush them in there pretty... I can get a lot more in here, too. This is just... There's a lot of air in here. Watch this. Okay. Let's smush this sucker down and zip it up before it blows back up. That's a lot of yarn. I figure I'll use it to stuff things with or something. I just, I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to waste it. I know that sounds silly, but I just don't want to waste it. Yeah, there's a hole in here anyway, so. There's a hole. So yeah, look what happens when I squish it way down. Still a good bit. But do you save yours? Yeah. I do mine. Because I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I admit it. I also save all the ball bands. Now, I threw them out last year after I, we did the, the, the giveaway with counting them. And I'll probably do another giveaway at the end of this year uh, regarding how many ball bands I've used. Because I use them. I put them. I've got a bag with them in them. So there's that. I save things. That's why I have, yeah, there's a lot of yarn and craft supplies in here. Probably more than one person needs, but that's okay. So I'm going to toss this on the bed. Woohoo! Disturb the cat. Yes, Oscar just watched it land and was like, dude, this is my corner. He's sitting on the corner of the bed because I'm in here. But he's too lazy to get up and come up here and see me. I'll pick him up and show y'all here in a minute. As for the crochet, I do have one finished object. This is a finished portion of a bigger object. Um, I am participating in the hashtag rock 2022 AU make along with Judy at Witch Piece Crafts, which I will have her linked either up there, down there, somewhere. And the first and the 15th of every month, she shows us an album. And we are to be inspired by the album or the album cover or something in that genre or something by the artist. Um, this one, it was uh, Queen News of the World, which is the album cover that has like the big robot, the person holding, and there's like a little bit of blood dripping and stuff. These are the color. I, I've chosen to be inspired by the colors of every album. The colors of that are in there just kind of spread out among a corner to corner, okay? And I will put a picture of this next to the album cover somewhere in the slideshow at the end so you can see. And I also already posted it to my little fledgling Facebook group and to her Facebook group so that I can enter. She's doing giveaways too. You don't have to do a blanket. You can do whatever you want. Um, this is just what I choose to do because I'm going to have a big blanket at the end of the year. Yep, we're going to have 24 squares to put together. And it'll be like the stained glass thing. It's, you know, have them diagonal to diagonal going different ways. It's been very cool. It's a variety of yarn um, that I'm using in this. 
and I've been having a blast. It's really fun to when she, you know, chooses the album or either she chooses it or someone in her household chooses it. And uh, this month it's about Pride Month. So we had Queen for the first one. I don't know who the second one's going to be, but that'll be chosen on the 15th. So I'll know what I need to work on. But I have fun going around and like figuring out what yarn I'm going to put in it, what colors. Because I have a humongous bag full of mostly big twist yarns and just a variety of colors. Um, I've put some other yarns in there that I've been using on this project too. Like I've got a Karen one pound and I've got a few other things. Um, but yeah, I've just been pulling them out of there. I was like, okay, this will work. This will work. This will work. Okay, we got it. Boom. A lot of fun. Been enjoying it. Another make-along that I am part of that you can be part of as well. Look for the video at the beginning of the month about it because it talks more about the rules and what you do with it. But that is the hashtag Yarnivores monthly theme. You don't have to crochet for that one. You can paint um, just whatever art form that you like to do. And those of us that are hosting this, and it's a group of us called the Yarnivores, and we, you know, chat on Facebook all the time, um, we are not able to enter to win the prize. It's all about you guys. So be sure and look for that video. I'll try to link it up here, down there, or somewhere about it. And the host this month just slipped my mind. I can see her face. Anyway, I'll try to link her video because I'm having a moment. But, you know, I think I'm going to paint this month again for that one because it's kind of fun to do something a little bit different. So yes, there is that. Now, there's more crochet, but wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you my temperature blanket. Okay, in case you're new here, I'm doing a square for every single day of the year and a few extra squares to denote uh, the big, the month, like that's a, it's a six, trust me, uh, for the, the month of June and a couple of other fillers to make the numbers even. They're going to be 19 squares across and 20 rows down. And uh, yeah, this is where I am on this one. You can see the dark colors and it has been like repeating a lot. It's been warm. It's going to be warmer next week. I think we're going to see some of the dark, dark color and maybe lots of it. Ugh kind of dreading that because I am not a big fan of super hot weather especially in this humidity and yes I keep when I'm in the process of making the week I keep it in here I've got my crochet hook in here I've got my little book in here so that I can keep up with things the blanket itself and when I get to the end of the row I attach it right away so that I don't forget and get behind because I do not want to be behind this first 22, by the way, denotes 2022, and that's one for January, okay? And this is how the blanket is looking so far. I'm kind of jazzed about the colors. It's mostly blues with a little bit of teal and some purples, and I think it just looks, you know, happy and cheerful. The inner color, by the way, is the low temperature. The outer color is the high temperature. That's it. That's how I'm doing it. There's no really wrong way to do a temperature blanket or a temperature project for that matter. It doesn't have to be a blanket. Um, you just, you do you boo, you know, as they say. And this is just how I decided to go with and design mine. Cause I wanted to do it. I saw everybody doing it last year. I was like, wow, that was pretty cool. But I don't think I can do like a whole row a day or whatever that some people were doing. A little square I can handle. A little square makes me feel like I have accomplished something that day, even on a bad day. And sometimes there are bad days. And I do like to talk about mental health because I think it should be part of our conversation. If I can talk about the fact that I have diabetes and have to take insulin, I should also be able to talk about the fact that I deal with depression, chronic major recurring depressive disorder. That's a mouthful, but I take medication and it does help. Medication helps, therapy helps, um, you guys help. You may not know that, but knowing that sometimes I get comments and if I'm having a rough day, I'll, I'll pull up my app, you know, to see um, if I have any comments that have come and it's like, oh my gosh, I have comments. That's so cool. I don't get to answering this all about once a week. Usually, you know, I'm always delayed on answering my comments, but I do answer them. And it always just kind of tickles me that, wow, y'all left a comment that really puts a smile on my face, you know, even on a rough day. So yes, thank you. You are appreciated. One more crochet thing I do want to show you is in this bag. If you've been here a long time, you may remember this bag. It's been around for a minute. This bag, actually, the bag and its companion, um, 
little notions pouch that's in here. I got these from No Catchy Name. I managed to get it on one of her bag sales one day. She puts up bags and they are gone, okay? Because she sews in addition to crochet and stuff. But in this bag, I'm working on a project that I actually won the kit for on Instagram. Yes, I enter stuff all over the place. It's a granny square bag. It comes with the tassels, which are in a box that I have right over there. And it comes with the handles as well. It comes with all of the yarn, which surprised me that it came with the yarn that you would use to make the tassels because it's a different color. And that's the only place you use them. So I have like extra yarn and it's all made with 24 seven yarn. There's the, the pattern. The pattern isn't really specific about stuff. I left it for a while because I was having a moment and I just couldn't figure out what the heck they were talking about. And I finally did. And they weren't real specific about how you're joining all the stuff together. I have eight squares. They look like this. I did finish all of my squares. They are in here waiting to be joined. And this is all done in Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, by the way. And I'm, what I'm working on right now is the band that will go around and come up the sides and down the bottom to make the bottom of the bag and the sides. And this is all being done in half double crochet. And yeah, I've got a little ways to go. But this is definitely a TV project kind of thing. Just make sure you don't go too far. I have to measure occasionally because it's so easy to keep going. And with this cotton, you can keep your sides nice and straight and stuff. Um, then once I have it all done, I will put it all together and finally have a usable bag after all this time of it just sitting in that bag. And then I will free up this bag for another project because I absolutely adore this bag. It's got a little, little handle there. It's a zipper. It's got her little tag on the side, no catchy name. It's cute. It's super cute. So I have that. That was the crochet. What's coming up this week? Well, uh, I'm going to have at least one magazine flip through, possibly two. In one of them, there's going to be a giveaway. So be looking out for that. Uh, there's going to be a time for tea there will be a giveaway. There's going to be a uh, Snacks Around the World. Not sure if there's going to be a giveaway in that one or not. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Uh, if there is, it might just be yarny and not food related. Everything is going to be related to what it is. Um, there is going to be a hot taste. And there's going to be a giveaway around that. That's hot sauce. I'll be giving away some hot sauce. And it's, it's not like super bad hot sauce. Okay, let's be real. It's for regular people like us. <laughs> There's going to be yarn giveaways and yarny related. There's going to be a paper craft giveaway. Um, you don't, you don't ever see me do paper crafts because I'm very new at it. I've made a few cards and like embellished a few things. And it's kind of fun. And y'all know that I have a sticker problem. I also have a Crayola problem, but there's not going to be a Crayola giveaway because no, but you know, you never know what you might get in your giveaways as well. There might be extras shoved in there. And yes, my giveaways will all be international. So long as you are allowed to receive a package from the U.S., um, you're eligible. That's, yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. On Wednesday, Miss Lisa Ladybird is going to be helping me uh, with my live that's at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And she's going to be up there with me. There will be shenanigans, I'm sure. <laughs> There'll probably be a little bit of trivia to maybe to give stuff away. Who knows? It's not going to be hard trivia or anything, but just to have some fun and uh, have some laughs. Wake up the rest of the household, which is what's going to happen here, I'm sure. Because whenever Lisa and I get together online, it's usually kind of crazy. You want proof of that? Uh, check out the Gaming Monday that we had a couple of weeks ago where I was on her channel and we were playing like Name That Tune. And we were humming or doop 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 doing our songs. It was a riot. It was an absolute hoot. So make sure you check that out. 
I had several texts from the hubby in a closed door room. It's like, what are you doing out there? I'm like, you know me. You know it's going to be a little nuts. Yeah, yeah, he knows. Go to sleep, you know. So thank you for coming by. I appreciate it if you made it 20 minutes. Wowzers, you done good. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. I will hopefully see everybody throughout my birthday week. Just join in. Even with the live, there will be a replay gift. So make sure you watch the replay and see what you can do with that, okay? I will see you all very, very soon. Happy birthday week to me. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you too. Yes. June babies. We're June babies. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Oscar, hey, over here, silly. Hey, yes, mama's waking you up. Oh, look at the sweet paw curls. Oh, he's such a cute kitty. He knows he's cute. He's grinning. Are you a happy boy? Or you just wish mama would leave you alone and let you sleep? Oscar. Yeah, Mama lets you sleep. <laughs>